Hi, I'm Charlie Wagner from Youngblood Brass Band. And uh, the number one question we get asked at the end of every show in the trumpet section is, how do you play so high? I'm going to skip over the sometimes more fun way to talk about things, which is focusing on your equipment. Which mouthpiece am I using? What kind of trumpet do you have? And, and the example I like to use is Arturo Sandoval, who is one of the you know, masters of high note trumpet playing uh, of all time. And uh, he plays on what a lot of people would consider to be a very standard mouthpiece that for most people playing lead trumpet or high note trumpet stuff would be considered a big mouthpiece. So, in as far as equipment is concerned, each person may find something works for them. One thing I think that we all do share in common as trumpet players is more of the physiological approach to playing the trumpet. And um, <clears throat> uh, to start that conversation, we'll talk about things that you probably talk, hopefully were taught right away when you first picked up the instrument as a beginner. Things like posture and young blood stands when we play. Uh, and Maynard Ferguson famously told Miles Davis one time when Miles Davis was repeatedly missing uh, some high note passage and, and you know, playing in a small group but missing his high note, told him to stop moving around when he plays and to put his feet firmly on the ground and stand up straight. Seems sensible, but sometimes you don't think about it. And two, and to me this is a major visual, visual uh, thing for trumpet players, as well as just encouraging your body to play better, is to, when you're standing up, stand up straight, like I said, and have the horn, you know, pointing up somewhere in this area. I mean, the trumpet is designed. There's a reason why the trumpet has come through all the years to be this design. The trumpet is a declarative instrument, and it's designed to be heard over long distances or despite the amount of background noise that's surrounding you. This bell goes that way and projects. Don't be scared of that. We're not clarinet players. We don't live down here. We live up in this range. Uh, and those are two basic things that we, or that's a basic thing that we see with lots of bands that are playing young blood music and are trying to get that power. And your bell is pointing to the ground. Who can hear what's bouncing off the ground? It's supposed to be up in the air.